Hey guys, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Maker Studio. Uh, my name is Kim and I normally blog over at Salvage Living, but today I'm here taking over Maker Studio for a little bit to do a fun project with you. It's actually really beautiful. I'm so excited about it. Um, I uh, do lots of easy DIY and home decor for Life and Home Redeemed on my blog and Facebook page and Instagram, and you're welcome to follow me as uh, well over there. But if not, we can just hang out here and that's great too because I love to come over here and craft with you guys. So I really want to hear um, if you've tried Maker Studio yet, if you have any questions about it in the comments, let me know. Um, if you're a seasoned vet on the stencils and all of that, let me know kind of where you stand in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. I'm using a really beautiful brand new stencil today. You guys are going to love it. It's a new kind of layering stencil, so you can really mix and match these stencils to your liking. You can be so creative with them. You can go crazy. Um, but as we move into the holiday season, this one in particular is just beautiful. I feel like everybody should have some sort of nativity in their house, and now you can do it with a stencil. So this stencil is actually called the nativity. I've already been playing around with it, so this goes right here, which just don't mind me. Um, there are all these little nativity pieces and fonts, so many good things that you can use. Maker Studio is going to give one away today to a lucky, lucky lady or, or guy, whoever is here. Um, all you need to do is be commenting. Why don't you invite some friends uh, to come and watch this craft with you um, in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what we're gonna do with these stencils today. So one of the things I love to do is to thrift and go garage selling and flea markets, and I love to collect silver, obviously. I decorate with it, and um, I use it for a ton of different varieties besides just serving on it. And I came across this really beautiful silver platter, and I love it because the inside is just slick and sleek, and I thought it would be nice for us to make this over for the holidays. And I'll tell you a little bit more about exactly what we're gonna do, but we're gonna use some of the chalk paint. Uh, it's the chalk art, and um, this color is called Preach Into the Choir, and it's really a black color. We're gonna use that with our little squeegees. And those are the main things you're gonna need, probably some scissors, and sometimes I use some uh, painter's tape when I'm doing this, and then of course the beautiful nativity stencil. So I'm gonna flip the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing, and let's go ahead and get started on this fun craft. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to get started on this. There's a couple things I wanna say is that you have some options of which paint to use. I told you guys I'm gonna use the chalk art paint. That is a removable paint. So I can actually, what I'm planning on doing is just propping this up either in a bookshelf or possibly behind my kitchen, um, in my kitchen cabinet, something like that. I haven't really decided where I'm going to put it yet, but it's going to be a display piece. It's not going to be a serving piece. But if you wanted to make one of these as a serving piece and have the uh, design that you put on it to be permanent, what you could use would be the ceramic paint. That is a permanent paint that is made for stuff like this. You can wash it, you could serve on it, things like that. I just personally wanted to be able to remove this after the holiday and then, you know, maybe make it over for a different holiday or use it plain, however, I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun, temporary kind of thing and that is why I'm specifically using the chalk art. So we're going to just take this stencil. Remember, these are removable, adhesible stencils. You can move them around. If you don't like where you put it, you just peel it up. Um, they have a, a mesh center, so they let you get a really fine detail in your stenciling projects, which is what I love so much about them. They're really, really easy to use, and they give you beautiful results. This is such a fun stencil set, you guys. I'm gonna just be using plain black, you know, preach into the choir chalk art, but you guys could make this in any color scheme that you wanted to. You just get some of the paint and you're gonna smear it through the back of the stencil, pressing to make sure you get good coverage 
right there on the edge. If I go off the edge, you can wipe it off. This paint will dry and a little bit harden. The chalk hardens over time. So you're gonna be able to just have this done as decor, but then at the end of the holiday season, you could wash this off, like I said, and use it differently. If you wanted to use the ceramic chalk art, you're gonna use it the exact same way. The difference is just that the paint will set over 24 hours and become a permanent paint. So that's the main difference in those two. And um, you have to decide, you know, how you want to use that. It's best with this project and really anytime you're going to use multiple stencils to have just a little bucket of water next to you if you don't want to be getting up and washing stencils in between because you want to really get them washed pretty quick. I just run them in the sink with warm soapy water to make sure that that um, doesn't dry and ruin your stencil. Oh, so gorgeous, you guys. It's so bold and crisp and it's tiny, tiny details. It looks so amazing. I really, really love how this is coming out already. All right, so basically what you have to just decide, the hardest part is how you wanna layer your stencils. And I really love these two angels. I think the hardest part is deciding how you want to do this, what the layout's going to be. So it might be something that you want to practice, you know, like on paper, but you could use these so many different ways. You could use these on note cards. You could use them to make ornaments. I'm actually thinking I'm going to leave that just that distance apart. Do I maybe want to, maybe I want to, um, yeah, bend them a little bit where they're kind of arched above that. So the, one of the cool things about using these stencils for sure is the fact that you can use them on surfaces that are not always flat and straight the way that a traditional stencil would ha <clears throat> have you, you know, kind of be limited. So that's always fun. but you're gonna to wanna to do each stencil individually and get all of it in the cracks and crevices and pull that off and then move on to the next. And if you start to overlap, just make sure you let your paint dry in between the two. And I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. So that could be, you know, it doesn't take that long to dry, which is really what's nice. This is a fast drying, I feel like, paint. You really don't even have probably more than 15 minutes, 20 minutes of work time before you kind of notice the paint starting to dry and dry out a little bit. And that's kind of the beauty of chalk paint. It a little bit hardens and gets kind of stiff over time. And so here is this. These are so cute. I'm just putting these over here in my little bucket of water so that I don't have to wash them right away. And that's kind of just helping them to stay clean. All right, so we are moving along. This is so, so sweet. Let's decide. Here's what I do. I usually have a heat gun or you could try a hair dryer or something like that to just really make sure that your paint's good and try in between, especially when you're going to layer and be putting one on top of the other. can tell that that is good. All right, I am going to kind of cut this stencil up a little bit because it really is a big one. It's got so many fun things on it. And then I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to do the wise men on the camel. I love that. You see, we have so many choices. I don't even know which to use. I love them all so much. You guys tell me which one you like. Do you like the wise men on the camel or do you like the wise men on the three camels? I think this is the one I want to try, but I'm kind of curious to see what y'all think. 
So we're just gonna basically build our little manger. And I love that you can put the palm trees. Like there's just so many different aspects that you can add to this to make it this really beautiful scene. And just gonna put these guys coming in over here. And then we can maybe have like a little cow laying down over here. Let's see. We'll have one more wise man coming in from over here. And a shepherd. shepherd all right you guys you can literally just mix and match all of this until you make the perfect scene so like I said you could do this on a platter you could do this on um, a smaller scale with these it's like so there's kind of two scales that you can see that you can use these smaller trees, but you could also use those in the background. You could put um, Rejoice. We could do so many different things. I really love this so much. I'm gonna take these little guys and we're gonna have some sheep for our shepherd. I really wanted to get this part built, kind of build the basis, and then um, we're going to mix this around a little bit. So I like to use the different size stencil uh, squeegees, and you'll see why just in a second. Just so you can maneuver the paint the way that you need to the best to push it through. These stencils work so easily, but you do have to kind of push that paint through a little bit to make sure you're getting good coverage on your stencils. And you also want to make sure that you're using clean lines. I don't know if y'all can see how I'm swiping it and try not to leave raised ridges in that paint because it, they show a little bit when your paint dries if you don't smooth them out. So just a little word to the wise. And the more you do this, the better you will get at it. And I feel like different surfaces do work differently. You know, it's really nice when you have a really smooth surface like this, you get really good crisp lines, but you can also use these stencils on glass, wood, fabric, all kinds of ceramics. All right, just get that excess off and push it back into the pot. And honestly, it takes such a little amount of paint to do these. So these, these little tubs of paint really do go a long way. I wanna pull this up because I wanna put this little guy over here. So when you do that, just be careful I just want to get this little guy over here. And you can use it more than once if you want to have like a whole 
little feel to sheep if you wanted to. Just want to get these over here and decide, do I need to have a little bit more? I think it's so pretty. I just love it. I'm going to dry these because I don't want to mess them up. I do think I want one more little sheep up here. How easy that is. All right, I'm gonna put those in my water bath. And, all right, let's see, what do we think? I'm thinking maybe we need rejoice across the, the middle. I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna do that. So I just wanna use the word, the word rejoice and I do like this, but I really kind of want it a little more bold, I think, um, than that. I'm trying to decide. So, we're going to take this. Get my tape. I want it right here in the middle of these guys. These little angels. So the great part about the repositionable stuff is that you can put this on and then I kind of suggest holding it up, looking to see am I centered, am I straight, however you want it. And then I'm going to use some painter's tape to block off the parts of the stencil that I don't want to use. It makes it a lot, lot easier to do. So just go around, do that part, and then we're just going to cover up that S. We're just going to say rejoice instead of rejoices. And then... It would be really beautiful for, you know, whatever, if you wanted to do this in red, you could do it for really like holidays or if you're more neutrals, you could do it in a brown or a white. I mean, really, you could just pick whatever color. There's so many colors of the chalk art that you can use for this project. Love that. So I'm just going to pull this off and put this in my water bath. And you guys, I really don't think I want to add too much more. I'm thinking maybe they go. There's so many fun stencils. I was thinking I might add a couple stars. Just for a little bit of a shimmery touch. They have these stars. just love this I and mean, you cannot get this kind of a stencil finish with your traditional everyday stencils it just doesn't happen and I love that about these they're so much fun to use they're so easy and it looks you know a lot more intricate than it is which is always fun this would make a great gift you guys you can snack silver trays like this for a couple dollars at thrift stores and garage sales. I literally do it all the time. And I think this would make a beautiful gift, a hostess gift or a Christmas present, um, just anything. Use this again. You can definitely reuse the stencil without washing it. Sometimes it, it's harder, depends on the stencil itself, but it definitely is possible. I usually think you can get like two or three Passovers before you really have to wash it. And if you mess up, you can just kind of wipe it off. So 
do a few more over here. Just have a starry sky. It'd be so cute. What happens is the stencil kind of starts to get a little bit filled with the paint and the paint starts to dry so it just doesn't push through the stencil as well and is crisp. So you are at that point better off washing your stencil and coming back with it. But I think that's really pretty. So there we go. You guys, what a beautiful nativity scene. And like I said, I feel like everybody needs a nativity scene. Look at that. I mean, it's just so crisp. So, so, so beautiful. You guys, I love this. I hope you enjoyed this. This is such a great stencil. You guys make sure and snag this nativity stencil soon. And um, maybe you'll be a lucky winner. Make sure you comment and invite friends. Thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. Bye.